We're all hosts of Top <laughs> Gear America. It's a spec. <laughs> that you said the road was close. This is a game I made called Name That Picture Car, and it's famous cars from, from TV and movies. Do you recognize this? Yeah, it's That's the, big the uh, game. family <laughs> truckster. Yeah. Dax, I thought I'd throw this one in because I know you're a noted fan of, of the station wagon genre. Can't buy enough of them. <laughs> I agree. And it's, it's growing. <laughs> this is from the Griswolds. This is National Lampoon. That's the one that Rusty jumps into the desert. It's a great stunt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love it is. Film. It's gorgeous. And then they jump a Taurus wagon in Christmas Vacation. They do, yeah. Is that oh, the great yeah. bit when they're all asleep in the car? The, the camera pans around all of them. <laughs> and Chevy Chase is asleep. <laughs> oh, yeah, last <laughs> reveal. <laughs> Dax, you might know this one too. Oh, Dax. Never, it would be, never it'd be I, embarrassing. I like, no, I've never, never seen that. <laughs> never seen that thing. You know I mean? That is the uh, birth name of my daughter. Uh, that's my Lincoln Continental from Hit and Run. <laughs> what is that, a duster, Nova? It is a duster. Is it from this? No, it's too old. Is it a... Uh, I'm guessing there. there's not going to be any like three wheeler English cars in this list. I'm going to <laughs> might be. struggle with my Dr. cultural Who's references. Dr. car isn't going to be on here. Dr. Who. This is the driver in that is Ed O'Neill, if that helps Ooh. you. Here we go. Married with, married married with, yeah. yeah, you got it, Rob. <laughs> Are we supposed to raise our hands or something? It's working really down. well where you and I both answer at the same time. Both. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, is that from Death car? Race 3000? Oh, no. Man. No. Robocop? No. no. Uh, Condor Man? No. Oof. He, uh, I'm now trying to cheat. I'm looking for signage. It's an Adams Brothers Probe 16. Uh, it's a Kubrick movie. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Singing in the rain. Um, uh, uh. <laughs> the Clockwork Orange. Yes. Oh, it's a nice. Orange. Wow, that that's banned. a deep cut. That, uh, that should have been it. you, Jethro. It was banned in England. Clockwork Orange, you couldn't watch in the UK for like 25 years. They banned it. Wow. It probably means you could have started watching it when you were 12. You've had 30 years to watch that film, Joe. <laughs> chitty Chitty Bang Bang? Chitty bang Bang. That is true. This one was sold at auction for $805,000. Wow. And if you guys notice on the license plate, that's the Gen 11. You know, the, the Gen's uh, eight through ten were very unsuccessful. They were eleven they were for like eighty grand. Eleven, they added the kites. That's Ferris Bueller. Yeah, that uh, is. Yeah, right. Fifty uh, California Spider. That one sold to British radio personality Chris Evans for ten point nine million dollars. Whoa, 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 Jethro, your friend Chris has ten point nine million dollars. No, that's a different Chris. Chris Evans. Oh. So <laughs> I was going to say. For a bit. These 250s are so much money now. There's there's rumors that there was a 250 GTO sold last year behind closed doors for like $80 million. It's insane. Well, three years wow. ago at the Concourse d'Elegance, one sold for $59 million, which was really public. Yeah, yeah. they yeah. reckon there was one more sold like privately that was even more, but it's insane. Wow. I mean, they're cool, but I don't know if they're $80 million at all. Yeah, that's like private island money. That's... You know, for yeah. this, it's very nice, but yeah, you're like, do I want Bermuda or do I want this car? <laughs> that is oh, baby, baby driver. That baby is driver, yeah. Subaru and President WRX. Great stunts. Oh, Octopussy, James Bond, uh, Lotus Esprit. Yeah. It is a Lotus Esprit. It is James Bond. It is not from Octopussy. <laughs> well, check your facts. I think it's from Octopussy. <laughs> 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 view to a view to a kill. It's the spy who loved me. Oh, really? <laughs> right. I thought I thought Roger Moore was behind the wheel of the Esprit. A team. That just Vanderum. auctioned, or is currently auctioning. Uh, this reminds me of the episode that I watched the other day where uh, you go overlanding and you have the amazing waterbed just flying around in the back. That, what a what a bad idea. <laughs> what a great shot, though. An, in, an in already terrible pick for a vehicle. It did not help <laughs> things. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still way on your side there. It was a, it was the most fun pick. Well, the, the self-leveling nature of a, a waterbed is what attracted me to it. I don't think the van per se was a bad idea. It's just you you were handed the worst van <laughs> of its time. 
yeah, in maybe. America. It was yeah. so bad. Oh. And if you guys recall, I didn't make it the first like 300 feet of the challenge. You guys were no, on top of that mountain and I was overheating. And, <laughs> but in retrospect, it seemed scripted because it was all in service to Rob's triumphant victory and him towing me up the side of the mountain, which was like an emotional arc for Rob. So great. Yeah. Was the there is, there my... is one humiliating fact that, that wasn't in the episode, but the producer sent me afterwards. And that is that my Nissan, the 350Z, towed Dax's truck off that lava bed at the end. They towed it out with my car. <laughs> so that's how bad the van was. So my rear wheel drive Nissan did the, did the business. I got a text from my friend Steve DeCastro, uh, who's a stunt coordinator, who watched the first two episodes. And he's like, I can't believe you didn't buy that Nissan for Clay's compound for us to rally race. And I'm like, I think you're overestimating how, what condition it's in. Real quick, since we just talked about picture cars, if you guys were to buy a, a famous movie car or TV car, what would you buy? I might buy the Lamborghini Countach, Countach, depends how you want to pronounce it, from Cannibal Run. I remember that as a kid. Oh, nothing to do with the, the girls in the spandex, but I just remember that opening scene when they the, the cops pull up and then they just disappear in that Lamborghini. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have one of those, please. <laughs> Good choice. Rob, do you have one? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, John Wick's um, 69 Boss 429. And Man. It's so badass. It's like gunmetal. I think I would be as handsome as Keanu Reeves <laughs> driving that thing. I've got a real ethical dilemma with my pick. Yeah, which is unfortunately the car I would want also has the confederate flag on the roof which is oh very gosh. problematic <laughs> yeah because you can't really paint over that then they just drop the uh. i know but boy the general lee it's just i don't know that there'll ever be a car that holds the same position in my heart you could jump it you could win they i mean they they win in a stock car race and won in it it was it, it knew yeah. no bounds it was a super it was a supercar it was the first supercar yeah i could do any but <laughs> However, I would do some soul searching, you know, before purchasing that car. You'd have to do some real soul searching. It might be a great Antarctica car if I ever moved there. Like just somewhere where no one even knows what that thing means. Right. Where you, it loses all meaning and you can just enjoy the car. Avoid. And when I move to avoid. <laughs> oh, uh, considering your car is four times as much as mine, I expect you to win this race by minimally eight car lengths. Well, we both have the same expectation there. <laughs>